Internal Revenue Service IRS Tax News. IRS reminds holders of foreign bank and financial accounts of the April report of foreign bank and financial accounts deadline. That's the FBAR deadline, not to be confused with FUBAR. We're talking FBAR here, totally different thing. But first, an attempt at a joke, I apologize in advance. I was happy to hear the country finally woke up until I realized we were talking about a different kind of woke. My expectations have been subverted again. Honestly, what's the point of even making expectations these days? They're trying to subvert even the strongest expectations. For example, I generally expect the sun to rise tomorrow. But with the massive geopolitical missteps, nuclear weapons in the balance, it seems they may even manage to subvert that expectation. Why can't we just have a nice story where everybody ends up living happily ever after as everyone expects them to. At least I can rely on the expectation that my trusty listeners will be here for me. Hey, why do you keep on looking at that colorful thumbnail? Wait, don't click on... IR 2022-73, March 31st, 2022, Washington. The Internal Revenue Service today reminds U.S. citizens, resident aliens, and any domestic legal entity that the deadline to file their annual report of foreign bank and financial accounts, the FBAR, is April 15th. For additional information about filing deadlines, filers should look to Financial Crimes Enforcement Networks, the FEN CEN website. There's a link to that here for further information. Filers missing the April deadline will receive an automatic extension until October 15th, 2022 to file the FBAR. So if you don't get the FBAR filed by April 15th, it might be, not be completely foobarred at that point in time because you might have then the extension till October 15th, 2022. So they don't need to request an extension. See the FINCEN's website for further information. There's a link to that here. Who must file an FBAR, F-B-A-R? The Bank Security Act requires U.S. persons to file an FBAR if they have one financial interest in signature authority or other authority over one or more accounts such as bank accounts, brokerage accounts, a mutual fund, or other financial account in a foreign country, and two, the aggregate value of all foreign financial accounts exceeds $10,000 at any time during the calendar year. And the government's like, we, we want to know about that. That gets significant for us. We got to know about that. So because of this threshold, the U.S. encourage U.S. persons or entities with foreign accounts, even relatively small ones, to check if this filing requirement applies to them. And that, of course, is what we're reminding you of <clears throat> at this point. So U.S. person is a citizen or resident of the United States or any domestic legal entity, such as a partnership, corporation, limited liability company, a state or trust. The FBAR must be filed electronically with the Financial Crimes Enforcement Network, the FEN, C-E-N, and is only available through the BSA e-filing system website. Taxpayers who are unable to e-file the FBAR must contact FEN, C-E-N at there's a couple numbers here. I won't read them because there'll be a description to this in, or there'll be a link to this in the description so you can check it out. And then, and there's also an, an email address that will be in here in the description. Check out the description. Penalties for failure to file the FBAR. So here's the obvious question that comes up. Well, what if I don't? What if I don't file it? What are you going to do? Okay, here we go. Those who don't file the FBAR when required uh, may be subject to significant civil and criminal penalties that can result in a fine and or prison. So there's the stick. It's a pretty hefty stick that they can, they can hit you with it. They might hit you with that stick. You don't want to get hit with that stick. The IRS will not penalize those who properly reported uh, a foreign account on a late filed FBAR. So obviously you might be saying, well, what if I missed a time and I, and I didn't file it on time in the past because I didn't know about it or whatever. I wasn't in compliance. I didn't know they had just such a big stick that they were going to hit me with. I don't want to go to prison or anything. Well, then, then the, obviously they're going to try to encourage you to get into compliance. So if you were to go back into compliance, usually that they, you know, they would encourage you to be in uh, compliance <clears throat> and therefore uh, you would typically want to file is how the incentive structure would be set up. 
So once again, the IRS will not penalize those who, those who properly reported a foreign account on a late filed FBAR if the IRS determines there was reasonable cause for late filing. So more details and help available. IRS.gov has several resources available 24 hours a day. There's links to these items. The 2022 FBAR fact sheet, report of foreign bank and financial accounts, FBAR, uh, international taxpayers frequently ask questions about in, uh, international individual tax matters. F uh, FIN CEN's website reporting maximum account value to help avoid delays with tax refunds. Taxpayers leaving, living abroad should visit help tips for efficiently receiving a tax refund or taxpayer living abroad on IRS.gov. There's links to all that wonderful stuff here. There'll be a link to this in the description.